Imagine an aircraft so revolutionary that it single-handedly saved its manufacturer from bankruptcy. That's the story of the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. But did Airbus's answer to the 787, the A330neo, stand a chance? Let's dive into the battle of these two wide-body giants and see how they've reshaped the skies. The Boeing 787 Dreamliner has been nothing short of a game-changer for the aviation industry. Without its groundbreaking success, Boeing might have faced bankruptcy in the past decade. This lightweight, ultra-fuel-efficient aircraft has fundamentally transformed how airlines operate, enabling them to serve lower-demand destinations and open new long-haul routes. Its unmatched efficiency has even led to the phasing out of older generation aircraft like the Airbus A330, Boeing 767, and even the Boeing 757 in some cases. But the Dreamliner's impact goes beyond just efficiency. It gave rise to an entirely new breed of airlines, long-haul, low-cost carriers. These airlines, which rely heavily on the 787's fuel efficiency and range, simply wouldn't exist in their current form without this aircraft. Airbus, however, wasn't about to let Boeing dominate the wide-body market unchallenged. Instead of developing a clean sheet design to compete with the 787, Airbus took a different approach. They decided to upgrade their existing A330 model, creating the A330neo, new engine option. While the aircraft was designed to be more fuel efficient and cost effective, it hasn't come close to matching the Dreamliner's commercial success. As of January 2024, the 787 has amassed nearly 2,000 orders, while the A330neo has only managed around 230. Let's talk numbers. Boeing initially estimated the Dreamliner's development costs at $5.5 billion, but the final figure skyrocketed to over $15 billion. Some estimates even suggest it exceeded $20 billion. Add to that years of delays, and it's clear the Dreamliner came with a hefty price tag. Airbus, on the other hand, took a more cost-effective route. By updating the existing A330 platform, they were able to develop the NEO for just around $2 billion a fraction of the 787's development costs. This allowed Airbus to offer the NEO at a lower price point, making it an attractive option for certain airlines. Despite its lower sales, the A330neo has found its niche. One of its biggest victories came from Delta Airlines, a major U.S. legacy carrier and traditionally a Boeing customer. Delta ordered 39 of them, with 32 already delivered. This was a significant win for Airbus, as it prevented Delta from becoming overly reliant on the 787. The A330neo has also found success with long-haul low-cost carriers. Airlines like Cebu Pacific, Azul, and Condor have integrated the aircraft into their fleets, attracted by its lower purchase price and improved fuel efficiency. One area where the A330neo shines is its versatility. While the Dreamliner was designed primarily for long-haul flights, the NEO's reinforced landing gear allows it to handle more takeoff and landing cycles. This makes it ideal for medium-haul routes, giving it an edge over the 787 in certain operational scenarios. Now, let's be clear, the A330neo isn't a direct competitor to the 787 in terms of technical performance. The Dreamliner remains the more advanced aircraft, with superior fuel efficiency and range. However, the NEO's lower development and purchase costs have allowed Airbus to carve out a niche in the market. It's also worth noting that while the 787 has been a commercial success, its development struggles and delays have left a blemish on its otherwise stellar reputation. On the other hand, Airbus's decision to update the A330 rather than develop a clean sheet design was a strategic move to contain Boeing's market dominance without breaking the bank. So, what do you think? Did Airbus make the right call by updating the A330, or should they have gone head-to-head -head with Boeing by developing a clean sheet competitor to the 787? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.